Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Marlowe with Adapt2 Solutions and today we're sitting with Zeth Zaylor with Dynagy. And over the last few months, we have been able to collaborate to find a solution for some of the pain that Dynagy's been feeling working within their plant operations. Seth, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. What problem were you trying to solve when you began this collaboration with Adapt2 Solutions? Well, uh, thanks for having me here today, Elizabeth. Um, the, the main problem we saw was that uh, there was a disconnect between operation and commercial. Um, we've got a bunch of power plants out there and each power plant has their own set of control room operators. And, and the problem is, is those control room operators don't have a good vision um, of what's going on commercially and on every minute of every day in the market. Uh, our real-time dispatch group does. Uh, they can see the output of each plant and they can see the pricing information. But the people who are actually operating the plants can't see that. Uh, so what we needed is we needed a tool, uh, the Empower uh, dashboard is what Adapt2 ended up uh, providing for us, a tool that could provide commercial data to the operators at the plant. And by doing that, we uh, empower those operators uh, to see the commercial data. And, and, and if they see that pricing goes to $2,000, uh, to give the real-time desk a call. And obviously, we would never want the operations guys to go out there and redispatch the plant based on the, the commercial data they were seeing. But it just puts another set of eyes uh, onto the assets to make sure that um, they're being dispatched most effectively. Great, great. Uh, uh, how have you seen that the Empower Dashboard has helped Dynagy's business? Uh, it's helped out a ton. Um, just to rewind a little bit, phase one, uh, we did that because we saw such an immediate need that we wanted to get something in front of the operators immediately. Um, Adapt2 got that rolled out pretty quickly, it was just a few months. Um, and what that, what that provided was uh, they had uh, awards, they had pricing on an hourly level, and then also real-time generation and real-time LMPs on an hourly level. In addition to that, there was an interface to Pi, uh, so we could see um, instantaneous five-minute outputs with the plants, uh, things like AVR status, pretty much anything that's in Pi you could have displayed on the dashboard. Um, and then also, uh, we also had uh, AVR statuses and, um, and five minute LMPs. So by using those things, um, the operators got that first glimpse into the commercial world and uh, dispatch the plants better. Now version two is really neat. Um, I worked with uh, Adapt2, uh, Kevin and Ross, great guys. I uh, love them to death, they're always there to help out. Thanks Kevin and Ross. <laughs> Great guys. Um, but what we did with that rollout is in addition to the hourly day ahead pricing, real time uh, LMPs, megawatt outputs, is we use the, uh, our offers, which we also um, use Adapt2 for, for our daily offers to the market. Uh, we use those to develop a cost, um, a cost of generation. So we're able to have our revenues and our costs so we have an hourly PL available in a near instantaneous basis. And uh, that's what's really neat about it, because the plant operator can see immediately the impact he's having on the Dynagy uh, bottom line each hour. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I guess my last question for you today, Seth, would be what would you tell other companies who are looking to dispatch their assets more effectively as well? Yeah, so I mean, I've been in a few different shops, and I think the one common thing between all of them is that operations and commercial um, there's a rift sometimes, or at the very minimum, that bond could be a little bit stronger. Uh, so having a tool like the Empower Dashboard really puts them on the same table. And it's never about pointing fingers or saying, well, you're not dispatching the asset right, or you're not operating the asset right. It's just having more sets of eyes on the data, because now we've really got to pay attention to the bottom line more than ever. Um, and when you do that, you want to have as many eyes as possible. And if, if we decide that, hey, we didn't dispatch that quite right yesterday, uh, the operator can speak up and say, hey, was there a reason why we didn't do that? Or how do you think we could do that better? If anything else, it just educates them on how the, uh, how the market works. Um, so what I would say is the Empower tool just really works well to put everyone in sync and make sure that you're maximizing your bottom line every day. So thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you all.